Hey everyone, this is Scott from X Express, and today we're going to take a backend tour for of our WP Floating Menu Pro. So my floating menu is activated, and I see my WP Floating Menu Pro in the dashboard. So the different features I have are all menus, add new menu, floating menu settings, build custom plugin, how to use and about. We'll take a quick tour of each and every one. So here is my all menus. I can create any number of menus over here and it will get listed as one of my menus are here. So I'm just going to create add new. I'm just going to name it float. And if I add the menu and I go back to my all menus, I'll see that my menus are all listed here. I can choose to delete it from here or edit the menu. The next one we have is the menu options. From here, you can choose to enable or disable the menu, enable or disable it for the mobile view. And it works from 480px. Also, you can select a default menu from the list of menus you have created. Also, you can choose to show your menu on all your pages or only your home page or show a specific page. So if I click on show specific page, it will show me a list of page, posts and categories I have. And you can click and choose on where you want to show this particular menu. Another option you have is uh, while you go to post, let's say I'll just add a new post or even a page. So you'll get this cool meta option over here from where you can choose which menu you, you want for this uh, particular post. We have the same option for the page as well. So I can just drop down and select the menu I want for this particular page. You also have the option to build your own custom templates. You can build as many custom templates as you want here and they will be listed over here. To create a new custom template, just click on this and give your custom template a name. Let's say example one. Choose one of the templates from 10 different templates to modify from. You can change your menu icon settings like icon size, uh, menu icon margin, icon hover slash action color. Uh, you can ch choose font color, background for your title, the typography of the text, your text transform style, font sizes. You can also modify the tooltip font color, the background color, the typography, text transform style, and the font size. So once you've done with all the settings, just click on save template settings. So in the case you don't select or specify any value, uh, the value is taken from your theme style.css. So here is a helpful tips available here. It will uh, provide you a basic nomenclature of what different level means and what they do and uh, different options you have. Also, please remember that uh, the tooltip is disabled for template 10 layout and settings differ according to menu template layout. So all the settings may not be implemented for all templates. Also, we have an about page providing you an introduction of what the plugin is about the author that is us Express themes and here are some uh, email addresses so you can contact us and here are all different social outlets to contact us. So that was the backend tool for the floating menu. In the next video, we'll talk about how to create a sticky menu from scratch. Thank you.